So first thing I want you to do, just hold it like that, two hands on it like that, don't hit it off anything, and just hold it up to your ear and tell me if you can hear anything. And then I want you to pass it to someone else. Okay, so pass it around, pass it to the rest of your group. Can we hear anything? Yeah. No. Okay, so on its own, it doesn't really make any noise at all. Now I want someone in your group, I want you to turn it on its side so that it's kind of uh, facing away from you like that. And I want you to give you a good hard whack on your table, and then I want you to hold it up to your ear. Okay? Now can we hear anything? Yeah, so pass it around, let everyone have a chance to hear it. Okay, so any time you hear a sound, that means something is moving. And what happens is when you hit this off the table and these two tines start to vibrate, they actually start to vibrate the molecules in the air. And those air molecules vibrate all the air molecules in the room and they vibrate into your ear and they start to vibrate your eardrum. And your brain then sends a message to the rest of you saying your eardrum's vibrating, that means there's a sound and it interprets it as a sound. So that's how that's happening. This time, I want you to, I want you to hit it off and tell me if you can really see any of those air vibrations. Can you see them? Can you see the air moving at all? Okay, it's very hard to see these vibrations. So what I want you to do, okay, is I want you to this time, and I want you to watch me first, I want you to give it a good hard whack off the table, and then nice and slowly I want you to turn it upside down, try not to touch these things, and I want you just to dip the very tips of it into the water. So I'm going to show you what I mean, okay? So hit it like that, and you're just going to dip the tips into the water like that. And I want you to tell me what happens. Okay, so now we can start to see the vibrations because once you actually put this into the water, it's vibrating the water molecules instead of the air. The last thing that I want you to do with this is I want you to do this. I want you to give it a good hard whack of the table again. And this time I want you to hold it onto your desk. So really hard whack and hold it down on the desk like that. So give it a good hard whack first and then hold it to the desk. And tell me what happens to the sound. Very good, it becomes louder. That's a really good one. Okay, so the sound becomes louder. Anybody want to take a guess as to why the sound becomes louder? When we... Very good, okay. Because what happens is, guys, the air molecules, the molecules in the air are actually quite far apart in comparison to the molecules in our table. The molecules in a table, something solid, very densely packed together, really close together. And sound travels much faster and more efficiently through something that's really densely packed like a solid.